Hi friends, I am Santosh Sharma. Today I am going to explain you how you can create a beautiful menu in WordPress website. And then I will explain you how can you create drop down menu like this. When you will click on a course and you can see there are some drop down menus in that. So let's go to the website. So this is my website and here you need to click on this customize button. Let's click on that. And then you will see that this is your customization for your theme. And in that, you will see here menu. Click on that menu. And uh, there are already some menus created. We can also delete them from here. When you will click in this menu and go a little bit down and click delete, that's deleted. And let's delete the another. That's also deleted. Now, from this button, create new. We can create a new menu. Maybe we can give it a name as a primary. PRIM, whatever name you like, you can give it. Then select this menu as a primary menu. Okay, you can see here there are no menu now. And click next. Now you can click on add items. So in this items, you have so many things like custom links, pages, posts, categories tags you can add anything whatever you like but in today's video i will explain you how to add pages so let's add the home then courses under the courses platform website wordpress about us so you can see these many courses are added in that so these are the pages which are already created but if you want to create a new page you can just simply Enter it here, maybe Weebly. Weebly is another platform. Weebly, and you can click on add. So a new page will be created, and you can see it comes here. So after creating your menu, you can click on publish button. You can see here how beautifully your menus are looking, and uh, maybe you would like to go to another browser, and then you can see your all the menus here. So you can see the menus. But right now we don't have any drop down menu. Now I will let you know how to create the drop down menu. Before doing that, I can also uh, tell you that you can also shift these things up and down. There is a reorder option. From here also, you can make the things up and down. Like I done about us at the last. So the about us is here at the second last. And now I need to publish it. Now let's do the refresh. And you can see the about us is at the last. Now let's see how we can create the drop down menus. So I want courses. Under courses, there should be things which I want to teach. So from the reorder, see here is the reorder option. You click on reorder, you can press this button. When you will press this button, it will come under the courses. And I want platform also to come under the courses, WordPress also to come under the courses, and this also right so you click on publish and if you go to your website you will see now under the courses there are so many proper menus like that way you can play around and you can make the things the second thing that i want to tell you that uh, the way that we have created the menu by going to the customize option we can also do the same thing by going into this w option when i will click on the w it will open my website in the WordPress and you will see this screen. And in this screen, under the appearance, there is a menu option. You click on this option and you will see here. So in this, click on a create a new. So I can click on a create new option. And here you can give it a secondary or whatever the name you like. It doesn't, name doesn't matter really. It's your wish, it will not be displayed in your website, it's for your reference. So the main thing is that you need to specify this menu as a primary menu if you want to be a primary or a footer menu, a very top menu. So you need to mention it where you want to place this menu. And then you can see the same things are here. There are pages, you can add pages from here, whatever pages you want. Let's see, we have added all these and you need to click on add to menu. So these things are now in our 
secondary menu. Click on save. Let's see what we can see in our website now. You see, we believe is course B. So these are the items which we have created. So basically, the these things are pages. You can see pages mentioned here. So these pages are blank. And if you want to create these pages or you want to create new pages, you can also create from this section pages all pages if you click on add new you can click create a new page or also you can create from this button so you have these pages and you can edit them and create a new or amend your existing page and from here you can create a new page okay i hope you like my video please press the bell icon and subscribe my channel like this video and share with your friends